My last relationship was a nightmare, honestly. Still a nightmare. You know how they say you could have avoided some relationships or some situations if you had just whipped at them? This is one of those. Welcome to this social experiment where we let exes who have gone through terrible or bad breakup sit down, talk about things, and probably get better closure. This is the Breakfast Factory, and I'll be your host, Owaji Valores. Can you please introduce yourselves and what are your expectations from this experiment? My name is Dalako and I'm hoping to heal through this experiment and probably inspire other ladies who have gone through bad breakups. How are you? Yeah, I'm Manitzi, Jacob and Jagam. I'm just here for you. Let's see how you do it. Like, go with me. How do you guys miss? Oh, I've been back in. Uh, I think to the campus. I, I, can't, I can't remember. Can't really remember. So you really don't remember how we met? I can't Anyways, we met in school. I was in Fonja level and preparing for my exams at that point in time. He offered to drop my friends and I at the library. I remember being a virgin and wasn't interested in being one anymore. And but I did not just want it to just be with any other someone. I just wanted someone I was in an exclusive relationship with. So when we were in his car, we had a very nice chat. The vibe was there, and we exchanged contacts and just took it from there. What was your relationship with her like? Uh, so like the regular ones, just yeah, and they like good and bad. <laughs> good and bad. Yes, good and bad. Good and bad, you see. Yes. Our relationship was nowhere near good and bad. It was toxic. It was the most top. I don't think any relation, any average relationship, should really be like that. We had like at most two months of peace and we dated for about two years. I mean, this guy knew I wanted something serious. He left school before me and came to Lagos and he would not talk to me for weeks. He would just ghost me. Why were you ghosting her? Come on now. Fresh graduates, Lagos, no job. I started my new I started a new boat business. Like you can't I can't I, I had issues now. I had family issues. They can't be like Every time I'll be available for you to like make call and everything. Available for me. You could not give me five minutes out of your day. If you knew how both was, you can't make calls, you need right. You can't do that. It's not allowed. I don't know about now, but it wasn't allowed then. Honestly, like it doesn't make sense to me. I don't I, I feel like you're raising your car to just carry girls all around the place. Are you guys serious, right? Yes, I'm being serious, yes. I know. My friends, they used to tell me back when we were in school, but I just did not listen to them. See, let me tell you, when we were in school, that his car was like his most prized possession. I mean, this guy would not have five naira to eat, but if his car was working, Baba is fine. Am I lying? Prized possession. I was used to make money. You want to get spread? I was in Lagos now. See, that's the thing about you. Think I'm, I can lie to you. I don't give a fuck about you now. What? But I lie to you. You're not worth it now. Come on. I should just rest. I should just rest. The lapa is just being childish and delusional. So he gets, she just assumes we are we are still in school. I'm not still in school. I'm mostly I'm, I'm trying to get money. So he gets. So she wants the same attention I give her when I was in school. But no, it's not. It's not possible. I'm in Lagos now. Uh, I guess I just work hard and make money. Then the other part is that I never knew. I never knew the lapa was a virgin. I just felt like she was so easy to get. So I couldn't believe when she said, when she, said she was a virgin. And later on, when I found out that I was the one that defrauded her, so I felt like if she allowed me to do that kind of thing, then um, she really liked me so hard, like go on with the flow and she gets. But later I had to like, I was like regretting that, like I should have avoided the situation and you know, moved on. So we met for the second time in school. There was this show where Lukesh came to perform when it was still hot and happening then. Um, we were supposed to, before that show, we had not been talking or texting or chatting, so I was quite excited to meet him for the second time. Uh, but I was also excited to go for the show. I mean, it's Lukesh now and it's a concert in school. We met in his car and it was supposed to be just to say hi and hello, then go and have fun. But then, instead of 
was supposed to be like 10 20 minutes conversation we made out for hours and the only thing that did not just make us go all the way was because at that time like i said was a virgin so we did not have sex three months into our relationship you suggested that we had an hour sex Are you kidding me right now? Like, what the fuck? I, why would you bring this up? See, this is my problem with you. She, you talk, she, she talks too much. But we are here to talk. You talk too much. Are we much. not here to talk? We do it. But we didn't do it, but you still suggested it. So he suggested it. We're dating, it was boring. I wanted him to spice it up. Like, what he suggested you? an sex to spice it up. I wasn't I wasn't cool with it because I just lost my virginity. See, you see what I'm saying? You talk too much. See, even when even when we're having sex, this guy he was too self-absorbed. All he wanted to do was just pleasure himself and come. Bro, I want to come too. Wow. Wow. Yes. Wow. See, see, yeah, you give too much info. You don't need to do that. See. Let me tell you. Quiet, see, he suggested he said I was too uptight. When I, I said no, when I declined. He, he, he threw a fit. He was angry. He didn't talk to me for days. He suggested. He said I was uptight and close-minded. He was like, you. "See, that's all, that's what babes do when when they love their partner." I did not force Even you. if I wanted to try and have sex with you, I would not. I would rather do that with my my husband. Choget. Okay, okay, I bet you. My ex and I we did it. So I felt it was cool. How was I supposed to know your ex? And did you tell it me? It was cool. I can't tell you everything. I'm like, you don't talk to me. <laughs> We, are in a, we were in a relationship. My and I, we did it. We, so were, in, we were in a relationship. You owed me that much. Okay. See, yeah, I'm, I'm actually done. Like, he talks too much, gives too much info. We are here to talk. I'm going to say everything that is on my mind. Keep talking, keep talking. Yes, thank you. Yes, doesn't mean. I'll say my mind. Thank I'm good, you. I'm good. I'm good. Really? Yes, really. Wow. The thing is that it's just it got boring. Plus, I had I had uh, let's say good experience about anal sex. Um, my ex and I used to do it like once in a while. So I felt it's something like I can bring it to my next relationship. Like I didn't know she was not into it. So um, but I didn't force it. That's the problem. I didn't, I never forced it. Honestly, if I had known that he suggested the old anal sex thing for my sake and not because of his own selfish interest, I really would have probably would have considered it, but at least not not judge the whole situation the same way because classic is always very selfish and I really did not know that it was for my sake. Honestly. Cassie and I haven't spoken in a year before all this, so I guess it's going to be awkward for us. So, um, I was going to see his therapist before this experiment, but the one I was going to see, she traveled a few days to when I was going to see her. So, um, when my friend told me about this, I was skeptical at first because I didn't like want to like be in front of camera because of the way I talk. So, but if this is even you what I'm looking for, then it's fine. I don't mind. I'll do it. Can you guys please introduce yourselves? What are your expectations from this experiment? Okay, um, my name is Peter. I'm a UI UX designer. Um, I'm here to talk about who happened in our relationship. My name is Cassie. And I'm an events manager. I'm here because he asked me to come. Why did you guys meet? Okay. Um, we met at a birthday party. It was like an organized something. So I had a friend. I came with a friend. So we came to the party. Then she was sitting close to the door. So like I saw her yeah, coming. So we took our seats. We came a bit early. When but at least I went. So we were still like sitting down and discussing. Then I, I noticed she was staring at us, but I wasn't really interested in doing so. So we sat down, we were talking, then she came to where we were sitting now. She started to cross. Then she now introduced herself to us. At first, I thought she was um, all these marketers. Like she's trying to have a person for us. But she now like 
So I was kind of like paid back, but I was like stripping one or two things in this question. So you first maybe she was interested in your friend? Yeah, no, I, I thought she was trying to like as a first one to for us. So I would say like, no, I think that they will first introduce yourself. Then before they will learn, so I was like, let me wait for her to learn to like actually see what she's coming in for. But when she was done, she now like to go and went to assist. So I was kind of surprised. Like, and I told my friend, I saw that this girl lost doctor and I just left. Ah, what happened? So I was now curious like, to know like, more about her. Like, so, so I went to, to where she was. So, then I asked her to come join us. Then she like, agreed. So she came to stay with us. So we're now in conversation. But she was talking more with my friend still. So the girl was just her argument with it. So, yeah. so why did you approach him? He was my spec, and I told you that you're my spec, so. But you, you, you have to like you're more chosen than your friend. I don't get it. Because the way he expects me to actually just directly shoot my shot at you. That's not how it works. I have to create a conversation and then I analyze you to be sure you're actually my spec. I'm not just looking at your physical character, so. Immediately I saw Peter come in. Immediately he walked in. I had my eyes on him, no doubt. Then the party hadn't started, so I went to their table and I started a conversation, but not with Peter, but with his friend. I didn't make it obvious that I liked Peter. So I only spoke to the friend more and I spoke to Peter when I needed some details about him. Uh, and along the line, I realized that he actually stammered. So I was more intrigued, like this cute guy also stammered. He doesn't make it really obvious. Like you might not tell, I observed that he stammered because he knows how to control it when he's among strangers. But I, you know, I noticed that and I became more intrigued. I wanted to just unravel this cute guy that stammered. Uh, talking about spec, what's, what's your spec? Come, leave back. I don't know, gentle, I guess. Looking at the way you're talking about him, uh, you seem to actually like him. Liked him. Uh, are, you in a, are you actually in a relationship? Don't you think you're like asking me the wrong questions? I thought we were here to seek closure, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm just asking that to know where we stand now, like where we stand right now. Um, it's complicated. So. Oh, Peter, what about you? Are you in a relationship? No, not in a relationship. So to get uh, a better understanding of how things are, why did two of you break up? Well, um, a lot of reasons actually. Huh? He, he was choking me in the relationship. For reasons. What time would choke like choking on bed or what? Seriously. You want to be sarcastic? All right. I just need to know. Let's be sarcastic. He was checking me the relationship. Every like, every every social media platform you're there, you're in my face. If, if you're not calling, well, you're texting me on WhatsApp. She, We're having like like four different conversations she, at the same time. She really naturally. She's actually exaggerating. Oh wow, I'm dramatic now. I don't see you're dramatic. You're exaggerating. He said I'm exaggerating. It's being dramatic. I'm not oh, being dramatic. But I'm I told you that you were like, talking me in a relationship. Yeah, like you text me on WhatsApp, you text me on Instagram. We're having like different but, conversations. But the stage, no? Even when we were texting, you start calling. You were all over my face. But I actually like try to like like adjust it and know <sighs> what to do about it. Okay, see, and and, and again, you said that I took you right. But Obviously. it's no matter for two couples now to always talk often, like chats and all like. Be on call, Speaking right? often and being all over my face are different things. You can text me in the morning before work, text me maybe during lunch. But most girls then, like stuff like that. I'm not most if girls, that's the problem you. with him. I'm not most if girls. If someone likes you, she always wants to like check up on you all the time, right? <laughs> really? Instagram, WhatsApp. Yes, like, no. Okay, I told you that. You're giving me stalker vibes. Why? Why, why are you saying he, all this? He was choking me the relationship. So, That's uh, it. So. She, she said you were, in her, in her, you were calling more than often or something. Oh, is that, that right? Yeah, he was texting me on literally every social media platform that we follow each other. Sorry, and I, calling I, at the same time, like it was so exhausting. It was too much for me. How did that make you feel? 
Did she tell you about it? Yes, yeah, she, she told me about it. At first, I felt bad about it. Like, so someone I really like is, is talking to you. Because on the norms, when you, are, you like someone, you always try to like call a text often. You get normal. So I've been in situation, in situations whereby a girl likes me more. And normally, if I've been in a situation whereby a girl likes me more, and it's always come up like she's always calling me and she has me. So I feel if someone likes you, they'll always be on, on your time. Me, I understand that point. Because if yeah. I don't really like someone, yes, if I don't really like someone, the way the person. So, are you claiming that she, she, she does not like you? Or she did not like you? I feel she likes me, but it's not the way I like her. She, 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 she just likes me. So, you more. suddenly like she, she me more than I like you? It's I made the first like move. It does not move. Really? Seriously? Yeah, because, as I said earlier, I've been so like, I like someone like me more. You know the problem with you? You are using the past questions of your previous relationship on me, and I've told you that I'm a different person. You don't use your supposed knowledge or your past relationships to address me. It doesn't work for me, and I told you this, but you, but you, you, you repeat, of course. So after Peter and I met, I realized that he fell in love with me really quickly. I'm kind of used to it. Guys tend to like like me really fast, but then it fizzled out the time. But Peter was kind of different. I was certain about his own feelings about. He didn't actually fall out of love with me after a while. He he was still very much in love with me and he would typically do things for me that most guys I had met would not do for me. But there were also things that he did that I didn't like. I felt like he wasn't confident around me and I also thought that he wasn't, he couldn't articulate himself around me and I'm used to being around really confident men so I also learned from them. So yeah. I agree I felt for us so fast, it's unlike me. When I told my friends I'm in a relationship, they were so surprised because they know um, I, I like casual relationships. So she, she's not my spec in the first place. I'm into slim girls, you know, but she's kind of, she, she should be a nice shape. You know. So, but there are things about her that strike me. She's hardworking, she's ambitious, she makes her own money. She, she, she doesn't depend on a guy to, to for cash and all, but the reason I try to give her, she appreciates very well. Right? So um, she we are compatible with so many things. So I guess these are reasons why, like we are together. And all. So then. One day, one babe calls me and says, my boyfriend impregnated her. <laughs> oh my god, are you going I was, to bring this up right now? I don't give two fucks What's about that? you. you. I am going to bring this up. It was this embarrassing day that I got back from work, I was super tired, I had a very long day and I got to the laundry room and I realized that Peter actually did the laundry and up to my underwear, <laughs> he washed everything. 